guys welcome to my channel my name is tan if it's your first time here hey girl hey and if you're a returning subscriber then thanks for coming back so in today's video we are going to be talking about one of outre's new units it's from their daily wig collection in the style adalia in the color dr4 golden honey blonde this unit was sent over to me from ebonyline.com so thank you so much it is much appreciated i usually say this at the end of my videos but girl go ahead and subscribe you're already here and i think you're gonna like it here hopefully <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about Miss Adalia from Outre. The cap construction is your typical cap construction with two combs in the front, one comb in the back, adjustable straps, and an elastic band. As far as the features go, it says premium synthetic fibers, pre-plucked and hand-tied, lace eye part, breathable mesh cap, and heat styling friendly. As far as the premium synthetic fibers go, she definitely feels like a synthetic unit. She's not necessarily silky, but she's not yakky as well. I definitely place her in the middle like as a light yakky texture, I guess. With the pre-plucked and hand-tied lace eye part, I definitely would say they could have plucked it a little bit more, but since they didn't, going in with a little bit of powder definitely helped her out, in my opinion. Now with the breathable mesh cap, it's your standard outre cap. I don't see anything or feel anything different about her. And then with the heat styling friendly, I didn't put any heat on her. So therefore I cannot say yes or no to her, but I'm pretty sure it's the same old same old. Now, if you didn't notice, this unit does not come with any lace. And at first, I didn't really know how to feel about that. I guess I still don't know how to feel about that in a sense. <laughs> but what I will say is that I guess that's why it's a part of the daily wig collection because it's supposed to be able to just, or you're supposed to be able to just throw it on and go. This unit did give me old school unit vibes, if you know what I mean, because it didn't have any lace. I am one who stands the perfect hairline collection, the melted hairline collection, and I love me a little sleek lay. But this one didn't have any lace, so I was just like, what I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> in the features, it also doesn't say that it comes with baby hairs, but this unit definitely comes with baby hairs. It's not much, but it's a few. It comes with some like on each side of the part. And even though I am not a big baby hair person wearer, I, mm -mm, no, this unit needs baby hairs in order to keep it from looking wiggy, if you will. So I guess we can just go ahead and hop right into my pros and cons regarding the unit. Of course, starting with the cons first. My first con regarding this unit is the fact that she doesn't come with any lace at the front. Now, for some people that is a great thing, but for me, that is not such a great thing. And the only reason why I say that is because I feel like lace at the front gives you the opportunity to customize it and make it your own. When there is no lace, it's like, I'm looking in the mirror, that's why I'm looking over to the side. But it just gives that very round appearance and that screams wig to me. My second con regarding this unit is she is not big head friendly. Now, does she fit? Yes. Is she sitting okay? Yes. I'm not, I don't wanna necessarily say comfortable. It doesn't hurt and it's not constricting blood flow or anything. <laughs> But I don't know, when a unit is big head friendly, in my opinion, there's room, it's stretchy. And this, it's just kind of like, mm, no. My next con about this unit is she does shed. Now to move into the pros regarding this unit. And my first pro is that she is beginner head, beginner head, beginner, beginner friendly. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that she is beginner friendly. I do think she is one of those units that you can plop on and go. And I think that's the point of the daily wig collection is so it can just 
for is so you can just I cannot talk bless it so you can just throw her on and then go out the door but I will say that if you take a little bit of time with her and fix her up just a smidge she'll look even better my second pro on this unit is that I do think they did a really good job with styling her as far as the curls and the layers go they took it all the way throughout and down and she comes about right up underneath my boobs now I will say I did not know that she was gonna be this long necessarily I do wish that she was a smidge shorter so I'd probably cut her till about right here especially seeing as how this is such a bright blonde yeah I would cut her to about right here but they did a really good job with the curling and the layering my third pro about this unit is definitely the density. I think they did a really good job with making sure that the unit isn't too thick, but it's also not too thin, especially seeing as how it's supposed to be for daily wear. Now, would I wear this unit every day? No. Would I wear any synthetic unit every day? Absolutely not, because she's going to tangle like that. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Lastly, let's go ahead and talk about the price on this unit. On ebonyline.com, she does retail for $29.95, but if you want a specialty color, she goes up to about a $2 upcharge, so that is $31.95. She is very affordable. So girl, I don't have anything else to say, so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe before you leave, and also make sure you click the bell, that way you're notified anytime that I upload a video. Follow me on Instagram. It is at 10 Dotson. My TikTok is also at 10 Dotson. Huge shout out and huge thank you again to ebonyline.com for sending over this unit for me to review. I will make sure that I have a direct link to her in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. If you plan on picking up this unit, let me know in the comments down below and let me know in what color you plan on getting her in. Other than that, I don't have anything else to say except for I will see y'all in the next one.